Yo guys, what's up? Aiden here with another video on the Aiden and Cameron channel. Bye. So, today, obviously, we have the video of Cameron explaining him everything. And yeah, I don't really have any other teammates to that. Pretty much, pretty much with what Cameron said. Yeah, that's pretty much what's been happening. Um, but today, I'm back and I'm here to tell you my 10 favourite TV shows. Um, so, yeah, it's something that I usually do with Cameron. Usually explain our ten favorite songs or something by by the Beatles or something. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do TV shows today. So at number ten, I think I'm going to put. Uh, I think I'm going to put Rapsy Nesbitt. Rapsy Nesbitt. And for those who don't know, Rapsy Nesbitt is is a, a show done by Gregor Fisher and Tony Roper, who are two Scottish two Scottish actors. Hang on. I'm just finding this DVD for you, here it is, and um, so yeah, I've got, here it is, and uh, I've seen this, but I got it for £2 out of, uh, out of Entertainment Exchange, which is a shop in Scotland, it's in Irvin, uh, Irvin Mall, Rivergate, and um, so yeah, uh, I'd recommend it to anyone, it's a good shop, um, so yeah, go on there, it's a good shop, um, so yeah, I've seen this, but, um, and it's all about this, this drunk, uh, he's he's an alcoholic, and yeah, it's it's quite funny. It's quite funny. I'd recommend it. Um, and number nine, I'm going to put um. At number nine, I'm going to put outnumbered. Outnumbered. At number nine, um, outnumbered is set in London. Um, it's got Hugh Grant, Tiger Drew, yeah, Tiger, uh, didn't it? Uh, so it's that sort of DVD, and I've got it. So yeah, Ben, this guy, uh, what is he? Uh, right, Ben, this guy here. Yeah, he's he's my. I'd I'd say he's probably my favourite in the the show. I just like Ben. So <laughs> I like Karen as well. Um, you know, but yeah, I like Ben. I like. I like ben. Um, and then, so yeah, the outnumbered's going at number 9. Uh, at number 8, at number 8, um, I'd probably put Little Britain at number 8. Um, Little Britain is, it's on Netflix. Um, yeah, um, it's, it's 15, it's a 15, so obviously the age certificate. Um, so yeah, I'd 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 agree with it being a fifteen because there's some bits in it which are, which is because there's three, there's quite some rude words in it. So if you're under the age of fifteen, do not watch it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really funny, really funny. Uh, at number, what is it? Seven, seven. Um, at number seven. Uh. Uh, hang on, I can't think what well, I can put at number 7, hang on. At number 7, I'm going to put Benidorm. Benidorm at number 7. It's, it's quite funny again, it's got quite a lot of red words in it, so yeah, I wouldn't watch it. Um, if you're under the age of, of 15. But yeah, it's it's really funny, really funny. Um, okay, so one, the, okay, so number 6. Number 6, I'm probably going to put Mr. Bean. I like Mr. Bean and um, Rowan Atkinson. I really like him. He's a funny, funny actor. Um, you know, I really like him. I like him in Johnny English as well. You know, I like I like him in the Bean Ultimate Disaster movie. Um, I liked a bit when he done that at, at people when he was because there was a baker. Um, going out, going going about and he took the picture of the baker, and the baker didn't like it, so he done that at him. So Mr. Bean wasn't too sure if he was to do that. Wave at him, I'll go like that. Um, and so he thought it was that, so he just went about and doing that to people. Thinking he was saying hello, and people were quite, people were quite, um, people weren't happy about it. <laughs> uh, it's quite, it's quite funny. I'd go and watch it. Um, so yeah. Uh, at number five, um, I'd probably put the dad's army at number five. Sorry about that. I had to be, had to be hack up there. Uh. Number five, uh, Dad's Army. I also got this DVD, um, out of Entertainment Entertainment Exchange. Um, I got it for a pound, a pound, not bad. 
Um, so yeah, it's yeah it's season four, series four. Um, again, Entertainment Exchange is in Irvine. Um, it's in Rivergate. It's in the mall. It's in Rivergate. Um, so yeah, yeah. Uh, and then number four. Number four, I'm gonna put Mrs. Burns boys. Um Mrs Mrs. Burns boys I'm gonna put in at number four. Uh recently got this DVD. I know. I was trying to look for it. Uh, but yeah, Mrs. Burns boys at number four. Um I didn't if I'm honest with you, I didn't really like Mrs. Burns boys. But I I recently watched it. Um and I thought actually this is this is quite good, it's quite funny. Um, so yeah, this, I recently get this one. Um, I, I got it for my, my Christmas a few weeks, uh, a few years ago. My mum got me it. She said, just try it, just try it, you'll like it. Um, didn't really, didn't really get into it, didn't really like it that much. Um, but I recently watched it again. And yeah, it's, it's quite, it's quite good. Um, uh, Mrs. Brown's Boys, uh, quite funny. Okay, so we're at the top three now. Okay, now number three. Um, mm. Number three is going to be Father Ted. Uh, Father Ted. It's, this, this is a tough one. I knew, I knew what my top three was going to be. Um, but yeah, Father Ted. Um, this is an old, this is an Irish comedy series uh, in the 70s. Back in the seventies or the the eighties, I think it's late seventies, early eighties. Um, this is the first series. Um, it's got one of my most favourite episodes on it. Um, it's called Entertaining Father Stone. Um, and the Father Stone was a was a priest, um, who came to visit them, and he was he was quite boring, uh, and he was he was he was quite boring. Didn't really talk much. Didn't really want to do anything. He just came and visited. Ted and Dougal and the gang, um, yeah, and it, it featured a really funny scene in that film. So Ted was in the bath, and the uh, Father Stone, um, came came up and he was in the toilet and he was just watching him, having a bath, and so Ted and so Ted said Ted says to him that he's in the bath, and so Father says he needs to go to the toilet, so Ted says that's fine. Thinking he was going to do a three, it actually doesn't. It doesn't number two. Uh, it does a number two when Ted is having a bath. Uh, really funny, really funny. It's on YouTube, so I go and watch that. It's on YouTube, um, so I, I, I go and watch it. Uh, really funny. Um, so yeah. Okay, so number two. Okay, number two is going to be the Inbetweeners at number two. Um, I've got all three series. I've got both movies. Um, you yeah. know. So yeah. Um, the yeah, between us. Um, so yeah, I just like the between us. Um, I I was the exact same Mrs. With Mrs. Burns boys. I watched the first series. I thought I just can't get any of this. I thought these 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 young boys are mentioning um offensive words about uh, about Willies about Willies words that I can't see on camera. Um, you know. But the sea word, the sea word, um, and I'm thinking, I just, I just can't, I can't get any of this. And then the second series came round, and actually, I thought, this is, this is quite good. I'm quite enjoying this, you know. And yeah, so it was the exact, and so I tried watching the first series again, and yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed, really enjoyed watching it. Um, you know, so I started buying the DVD. I didn't get this when I entered the exchange. I got this out of. Oh, where did I get this? I think it was HMV. I think I got the box set of HMV um, and Brayheads. And I got the boat and then I got the first movie. Um, I, I tried to go and see it in the cinema, but I was underage, so they wouldn't let me in. Um, you know, so yeah. Um, so I couldn't get in. So I couldn't go and see it in the cinema. But yeah, so I bought it on DVD when it came out. And yeah. Um, yeah, and then the second opponent's movie came out, and I did go and see that in cinema because I was aged then, because I was I was aged then, I was fifteen then, 
Sugar. Um, sugar? Not bad. I got both movies, by the way. Okay, yeah, so now number one. Uh, number one is going to be. Uh, So number one, and I'm pretty sure it's everyone's favourite. Only fools and horses. How can you know? It's it's really funny. This this is the Jolly Boys outing. Um, this is the Jolly Boys outing. I do I do like the Jolly Boys outing. Um, I'd say it's my second favourite. My favourite is uh, the one where they go to Spain. Uh, well, Rodney wins a competition, which Dale entered for. And it doesn't tell him that he's won in the under 14s category, which means that Rodney has to pretend he's either 14 or he's 12. Um, and so, yeah, at the end of the episode, Rodney wins the Spanish lottery, but he's told he can't take the money because he's because they thought he was 14. And so, he can, you know, so they could have become millionaires, but they never. It's, it's quite funny. I think that's on YouTube as well. And so go and watch it. I've got the box set here. Um, I think I get that out of HMV as well. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's my that's my top favourite. That's my 10 favourite shows. Um, if you want to see more videos like this. Um, then yeah. Yeah, I'll be happy to post them. Just post them. Just comment down below. Um, in the comment section. Thanks for watching.